Then we shot Bunker Hill, which was um, a great experience, and we shot it kind of all over Kansas. It was, it was we damn near killed about 30 people because <laughs> we were shooting at night in the heat. We had them turn all the light off, lights off in Nortonville for like 14 nights in a row, and we shot overnight, and it was like, God, it was killer. Bunker Hill kind of um, came out of uh, my interest in, uh, I guess, really democracy more than anything, and uh, and the whole notion of what would what would happen if there was another 9/11, and, and, and but even more mysterious than uh, this than 9/11, you know, where you don't have any answers, clear answers about things, and weird stuff's happening. We don't know what's happened. We do know. No, you don't, Russ. You don't know anything. Hell, we're just a bunch of them Katrina niggas with swamp water on their neck. Guess we all Katrina niggas now. No offense, mister. None taken. Pack of wood. You know, most guys, you know, are not going to come out and throw the big in at you, you know, or come out and say something outrageous to your face. But there's always these lurking kind of beneath the surface tens racial tensions that that still complicate our lives. And, and they complicate it more when dramatic situations come about. And, and these, these tensions kind of rise to the surface, you know? This is my store. Get off my property. It ain't your store no more. We're taking it. Under whose authority? The goddamn American people. That's who. Something's happened. More than likely something awful. Our lives have changed. Probably forever. Now, I don't know, but I think maybe we need new laws, new ways of fighting, of surviving. You're either for us or you're against us. Right. Any more bunker hill? I want to do what I have to do to get out of this hellhole. Keep it safe from you.